everyone, this is Miss Gabby. Welcome to Family Storytime. Today we're going to be reading 789 The Untold Story by Tara Lassar and illustrated by Ross McDonald. Uh oh, is seven really going to eat nine? Is that what actually happened? It's a mystery. I guess we're going to see. Let's get started. Ooh, look at the suspect wall. Here it says that the number nine is missing. Here it says that number nine was last seen on the pier. Here it says five works nine to five. That's pretty funny. Here it says the prime suspect, number seven, which is extra hilarious because seven is a prime number. Here it says always seen in a pair, the number two because number two is a pair. He's literally a pair. Here it says the client number six, who looks at really worried. Here it says possible accomplice. Huh, possible accomplice, because seven, 11. Here it says downtown. Wow, here it says good pie. Huh, because it's Cafe Uno where they have pie but here it's spelled P-I because it's the numbers pi. Here it says, behind the eight ball. Here it says, lost in a crowd because two is a pair and three is a crowd. And here it says, can't count on her because she's the number zero. <gasps> I was dozing in my office when an urgent binging on my office door bolted me awake. It was six. Something had scared the pants off of him, which is funny because he's wearing shoes, but he's not wearing pants. Seven is coming to get me, said Six. <gasps> oh no, could that be true? As a private I, because he's the letter I, even though he kind of looks like a one, he's an I. As a private I, I'm used to his type, numbers. They're always stuck in a problem. But I knew about this seven fella. He was odd, which is funny because seven really is an odd number. Take it easy, six, I said. What's seven up to? Huh, what is seven up to? Word on the street is seven, eight, nine. And now he's after me, says six. Well, technically he's always after you, I said. There's five, then six, then seven. Five, six, seven. He is always after six, seven. See, that proves it. I told six not to panic. Stay here. I'll get to the root of this. I hope so, said six. I fear my days are numbered. Wow. Private eye has put on his hat. He's ready to work. He's ready to solve the mystery. First, I went looking for eight. She's usually caught between seven and nine. That's really funny because eight really is in the middle of seven and nine. I found her at the corner of 2nd Avenue and 4th Street, but eight knew nothing. Nada. Zilch. I wonder why that could be. Nada. Zilch. Nothing. Hmm. If it's true, eight said, then I'm next in line. In a flash, she took off her belt. Now eight looked just like zero. Good disguise, said the letter I. <gasps> she was a zero all along. She took off her belt. And, she, and before she took off her belt, she was the letter eight. But really, she was disguised. She's actually the, the number zero. No wonder she knew nothing, because zero is nothing. <gasps> that really is a good disguise. I needed a solid lead. I strolled into Cafe Uno, leaned on the counter, and ordered a slice of pie. B, the waitress, had the scoop. Well, that's hilarious, because pie, here we're talking about pie, P-I, like the numbers, not the dessert. And it's funny because here it says Cafe Uno, today's specials, P-I 3.14. That's the number that means pi. Yeah, I heard 789, she said. So you haven't seen nine around, I asked. 
Negative, said B. He just disappeared. And more humor because she's giving him the scoop. She's literally putting a scoop on the pie and the pie is shaped like the symbol pie. <gasps> wow. <laughs> well, I guess they're going to have to look for more leads. So nine was gone. I couldn't let seven be the one who got away, but I needed more data. I went to see 11. She and seven are like two peas in a pod. Get it? Because the phrase seven, 11, they're friends. Seven couldn't have done it, said 11. He's on vacation. Are you sure? I prodded. I'm positive. I saw him leave. Okay, so if he's on vacation, then he couldn't have eaten nine. So what's going on? But if seven was gone, then where was nine? It didn't add up. It doesn't actually add up number-wise, and it doesn't add up mystery-wise. Frustrated, I headed back uptown. That's when I saw him crossing the street. Finally, I put two and two together. <gasps> him is the number six. What do you think is going on? What do you think is the mystery that the number I, or private I, realized? What did he put together? I had to get back to the office. On the double, I said the driver, he's going to get on the bus number five. I busted through my office door and found six taking 40 winks. I have solved this numerical nonsense, I cried. I grabbed six and turned him upside down. He, his true color was revealed. Just as I suspected, my client, six, was really nine. Nine wasn't missing all, in, all along. He wasn't eaten. Number six is actually the number nine. What? You had everyone worried, nine, I said. Why did you say that seven ain't nine? Because seven gets all of the attention. Lucky seven, seven wonders of the world, Snow White and the seven dwarves. Figures nine felt like he didn't measure up. Oh, he doesn't think that he's enough. Seven, seven, seven. It's like I don't exist. Folks hurry right past me on their way to 10. Don't even get me started on 10. Everyone thinks he's perfect. So nine disguised himself as six and made it look like seven ate him because he doesn't think that he's being appreciated enough. He thinks that seven is getting all of the attention. Oh, poor nine. I zeroed in on nine. Are you kidding? You should be on cloud nine right now. Happy as can be. The whole nine yards. Huh. How come, says nine? Because you've got nine lives. That's true. That is a fun phrase. The number nine. Nine lives. <laughs> That's when eleven showed up. Look who's back, she said. Oh, it's the number seven. It was seven. Um, stammered nine. No hard feeling, seven, old pal. Sure, let's not be divided. Oh, good. They're not going to be divided. They're not going to ruin their friendship by being mad at each other. That's good. Seven seemed awfully pleased for a number who had been framed. Why so happy, Seven? I asked. I'm ju I just sailed the seven seas. I'm in seventh heaven. Oh, well, it's good that he had a fun time on his vacation. Look at all of those pictures that Seven took. He's at the beach. He's swimming. He's skipping around. Looked like he had a good time. So, uh, yeah, he got framed, but I don't think he minded very much. He was on vacation. At last, everyone was back in order, and now I could take letter cases again. Letters can be wordy at times. Huh, wordy, because they're letters. But they're A-OK -okay in my book. Oh, good job, Private Eye. He solved the mystery, and now he can go back to solving letter mysteries. <laughs> 
Well, that's the end of our story. I'm glad Private Eye solved the mystery. <laughs> well, make sure to look at the questions and the activities that we've published along with the video. Until next time, bye!